Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. I welcome you all to this session in Jesus' name. Wherever you're watching from, I'm glad that the Lord made it possible for us all to connect right here on this platform. God bless you, everyone that has subscribed, everyone that keeps watching, and every one of you that is a part of this family. I want to give you four confirmations that you see each time you're ready for a next level. Each time you're ready for a new level, you're ready to receive a miracle or a blessing, you're ready to step into a new stage, you will always have three or more of these confirmations. They, there are many others, but I'm just going to share uh, four with us in this video and I'm trusting God. Well, if you people request for it, I can share more. So when you listen to this, listen to the first, the second and the third and no, even the fourth. And you're going to know if you are ready for that next level, for that blessing or for that miracle. The first sign is that you just become very uncomfortable with your present level. You know, there are times when God gives you a miracle and you're excited about it. But there are times when that same miracle becomes your source of discomfort. Maybe it's a home. Maybe it's a relationship. You just become uncomfortable being just normal friends or girlfriend and boyfriend. You just want to take it to another level. That discomfort could be a sign that God is trying to talk to you. God is telling you that you have stayed too long in that place. Or it's time for you to move to the next level. The second is that you begin to see some battles. You know, there are some battles that come and they are not really attacks. And they could also be attacks. Maybe God has been laying in your heart to leave that job, but you didn't leave. And it gets to a point where it's as though all your colleagues are against you. Everybody is against you. That environment becomes toxic. And you might be feeling bad about it. You know it's an attack and probably it's just coming to push you to another level. We started our prayer group and we're using a certain facility. And after some time, the owner of the facility just comes and brings problems from nowhere. Problems that never existed. Everything was fine. Everything was settled. And I told my group members, as I perceive that this is God pushing us out of this place. You don't have to hate this person. You don't have to feel bad about it. Not all battles are meant to destroy something. Sometimes God permits those battles so that it can force you into your next level because you can be so comfortable with a certain level that you don't want to move. So God makes it uncomfortable for you. I think that was the same situation that happened with Joseph. Joseph became too comfortable in Potiphar's house. Of course, he was the head. Of course, he was the general manager and leading everything. And God permitted the attack from Potiphar's wife so that it could push him to the next stage of his life. If Joseph had continued to stay in Potiphar's house, he would have probably never reached where God was taking him to. Mark this sign and pray about it. The third is the, a strong push or a strong desire to move. A strong, it's related to the first step, but you can be uncomfortable in a place and you just find a way to stay there. But it comes to a point where you have a strong desire and it's more than a desire, I like to call it a push. You just want to leave that place. You want to leave, you feel like no. You tell yourself, I'm done being single. You tell yourself, it's time for me to move this relationship to the next level. You tell yourself, this environment is not good for me. I'm going to a better environment. This house, no. Tell yourself, it, it, it just does that push. And you just start looking for alternatives. Maybe you were comfortable before and you never really cared to look for alternative jobs or alternative opportunities. But when that push comes, you just begin to search online, on site, asking friends because you feel that desire to move. And the fourth is prophetic confirmations. This video could also be your prophetic confirmation. I want you to pray about this and let the Lord lead you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you that you will not miss your next season. It is very dangerous to miss a new level. If you don't know the signs and you don't take note of them, it's dangerous to miss a new level. 
because that level could come again after a long period of time. So it's important that you take this video seriously and you take it to prayer. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will not miss any season of your life. You will not miss your next level. You will not miss your blessings. You will not miss your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Were you blessed by this video? Let me know which of these points is directly affecting you right now. I love you all so much and I hope to be with you again. Shalom.